Happy, happy Sunday, people. It is Nicolasa, and I am under the weather, so please um, ignore my voice. And I'm also moving out of state and um, a lot of stuff going on. So anyway, today, before I ship this um, Julio Apunto uh, out at the bottom, this was a slim, and this is an A6, I want to do a little bit of a comparison, and I also want to let you know that I think I found planner piece. I think. Um, back when I was carrying Traveler's Notebooks, I was I only ordered an A6 one time from Cheese Sparrow. And I got it in. I loved it. But for some reason, I didn't give it a chance. I literally just, like, immediately sold it. Um, and I thought to myself, mm, maybe I should try that size. Because if you know anything about what's been going on is I've been trying, I've been struggling with trying to have a planner as a wallet that fits in my purse, but that is not too big. And I normally carry standard size, and standard does fit in your in your purse with no problem if you carry a medium size purse. Um, in addition to B six, I mean they fit in there. But the issue was um, <clears throat> it got kind of bulky. I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff that I was carrying inside. This isn't all of it, but I'm saying um, this is probably like two planners combined. But this is the standard size, and as you can see, when you start getting into dashboards, vellum, all that stuff, it adds up. And I'm not saying I would carry all of this at once, but as you can see, this is kind of bulky and heavy. And I just, I couldn't, for the life of me, come up with something that would work. So recently, I tried Julio A6 Apunto. And this, I'm going to move this over because I want to show you something. The A6 Apunto is inside of my Louis Vuitton um, Speedy 30. And so if you know anything about Speedy 30, it is the medium size purse. It is not the smallest, but it's also not the biggest either. And if you look inside, <clears throat> you can see my Apunto sitting right in there with plenty of space, plenty of space. And I love it. I just reach in there, grab it, and I have my planner along with my um, wallet all in one. And that's what I have been looking for for a while. So um, I've been trying to figure out what size that would be. And it never really dawned on me to try A6 again because when I had it as a traveler's notebook, I don't think I liked it. It was too square for me. I really wanted something that looked like slimmer. But when I got it, I absolutely love this. This was bought from the Julio Resell um, group and um, it was new. So when it came in, it had never been used before. And uh, the woman was so kind. Oh, this is where all my stuff was. I was looking for it, guys. The woman was so kind. These are my decorations that I'm going to put on it to include the, <clears throat> excuse me, mint pen um, from Julio, which I totally love. And I've ordered a few more pens from Julio because I like the way they write. Um, I'm impressed with them. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit of a flip through, but not much. And then I want to talk to you and do a comparison about the slim because that's the whole reason I'm, I'm kind of like presenting this to you today. So if you get inside, um, I absolutely love um, the saying from Joel Olstein. And as you guys know, I'm moving out of state very soon. We're going from uh, Buffalo to Atlanta. So I'm very excited about that. Inside, you have one, two, three, four credit card slots at the top and a little slip pocket at the bottom. This pocket at the bottom doesn't really hold a card. It can. And as you can see, guys, I got these doubled up here. So I double here, I double here, and these two are plain. I'm going to hurry and take that out and do like this to show you that you could put it in there, but it kind of sticks out and looks kind of silly. So a lot of people don't load up that pocket with... Um, <clears throat> a credit card or anything um this is not a pocket it looks like it on on camera but it's it's um sewn you know together there this is an open pocket so in there i have a couple of cards and you know um i don't know what's in there but nothing important you could take this and put it under there to kind of you know slip it in here i don't want it like that i want to be able to open this and see my quote on the front and that kind of thing here in the side pocket, I do not normally carry this much money. I put it in here so you could see what's going on. Um, this is normally me with a few dollars right there. And as soon as I see it there, I go spend it on coffee. 
Um, I am using this as a planner and wallet, so I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. This at the back of the book is a um, adhesive pocket that I got from Michaels in a pack. <clears throat> it's, excuse me. It's this brand right here. It's called, um, this is the bookmarks and whatnot, but um, I just, you know, same brand here um, for that. So that's awesome. Um, the zipper piece back here, I put a little um, dangly on so that it's easier to grab it. Okay. I've got a few coins in here, nothing major. I, I don't think you could keep like a whole bunch of coins in there. Um, you could also keep your cash if you wanted to. Then you have a slip pocket in the back. Um, this little t-shirt came with one of the orders that I put through for the books. My books, I'm going to talk to you about those in just a second. Those are by Mojo or Mo, uh, Muji, I believe. And I got them from Amazon. They were cheaper than Hobonichi, and, and it wasn't so much about the price of Hobonichi, it was the layout. I didn't like the layout of Hobonichi, so I ended up with those. Here's some postage stamps and a, and a um, coach uh, coupon. I don't know if I'm be using that because i got to save. Um, and then, of course, my mint pen from Jaleo that slides in here with ease and is very nice. Um, and it's got the Jaleo logo on the right there. Okay, this slides in with ease. I like um, making, you know, this planner like a black and a sea foam or mint, whatever, with little accents of black and uh, pink. All right, so <clears throat> when you get to the inside, like I said, this book is by Muji. It is an A6. It fits perfectly. I did washi some vellum to the front because, of course, you guys know I have to have my vellum i can't do anything without it and then i recently went to macy's and i got some more chanel and so this is like the little um you know testers and i took a few um as you can see and i i use them in here so i they're very thick like um die cuts so to speak so i i took a few um hopefully she didn't mind but spending 80 90 dollars on on uh, perfume she shouldn't and here is a Planner Society um, die cuts that are attached to cardstock, nothing major. I couldn't really do a lot, but guess what? I didn't want to do a lot because when you do that, it just kind of um, negates the purpose. I want it to kind of be um, more <clears throat> minimalist, so to speak, okay? it's kind of what I wanted. As you can see here, I'm trying to get this paper clip out so you can see the month. Um, I love the layout of this. So here's your month right here. Um, you do have to put in the dates um, right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And these March, April, January, th those little stickers came with um, th the same like pack that I got from Michael. So it's this maker. And I bought some stickers and some bows and stuff like that to kind of put in this in this um, planner. So I just kind of go along April, May. I think I stopped in June because honestly, with us moving, I just, I you know, I have to see what's going on later. You have the full months here and then you actually start the weeks. Okay, so the weeks are here and they're laid out a little differently because normally my weeks would, my week would be over here or split between the two pages. So week on two pages and that's not how it is. It's one full week here on the left hand side and then on the right hand, little washi, little to do's for that week. I'm going to have my to do's within the week, some stickers and then like other stuff here. I plan on using maybe the bottom half of this for like, not journaling, but like documentation of what's happening through, through you know that day if there was anything significant happening that day so <clears throat> I think that's about it I have stuff coming up as you can see um this week I got a lot of stuff to prepare for this move so there's a lot of um you know to do's and I need to add some stickers I did just get this in the mail from um, Amazon yesterday so I haven't had a chance to really decorate all of it but I got a few weeks in there especially enough to get me through um, 
you know, the next couple of weeks. And then at the back is where I will keep track of like my hair and all that good stuff. So that's back there. You see those sections. You only have like 10 pages of blank or grid paper, um, graph paper in the back and that's it. So it's not like a lot. I like that because I think that when I was basically having a standard size traveler's note or standard size binder that I was adding more paper, adding more dashboards, adding more everything because I had the room for it. So <clears throat> now it's different. I want it black so that it's classic. It's beautiful. The leather smells amazing. Oh, and the big piece is, again, this is my wallet and planner. I think I'm happy so far. In there, you see all this cash. Do not get excited. I normally don't have this. This is from my mother. I pay her for babysitting. And I wanted to put it in there so I could show you all of the room that you could potentially have in the back pocket. Um, it does fit a full-size piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out now that I've shown you what it looks like because it's not mine. <laughs> and if you take a piece of paper, which I do not have right now, fold it. It goes right in here with no problem. Okay, so doctor's appointments, you know, whatever you need to keep track of. I have found, like I said, a little bit of peace because I'm able to take this baby with me. It is not that big. It is, if I put my hands here, it's, I'm holding it in my hands with no problem. If I make a comparison to the slim, which is what I'm going to do, um, you're going to see that... <clears throat> It fits in my bag, but this one fits a little bit better. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop this in my Speedy 30, my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. And you're gonna see, goes right in there with no problem. I still have plenty of room on the side. I can move it around. It's not a problem at all. And I've got my cosmetic bag in there. So now I'm able to carry my planner with my cosmetic bag. And um, also, I can know what my tasks are, what my grocery list is, all that good stuff that um, I was kind of not knowing how to do, okay? I'm very happy with the A6, by the way. <clears throat> this here is the Slim. I did sell this, so it's not mine. <clears throat> I was playing with size. So I wanted to see which one I would like better because in my mind, this one is more like a checkbook and I ordered it to see if I wanted that one versus the A6. And I will tell you, I like the A6 better. So if I do a little comparison here, my A6 is on top, the slim is on the bottom. As you can see, the, the length is the same on the two of them. So the length is pretty much neck and neck, okay? Um, and if you really do a comparison, you'll see that really the difference is the height, okay? The height is obviously taller on the on the slim. I apologize to you. I packed up pretty much everything, so I do not have my ruler out um, to do a uh, comparison of the height. But um, as you can see, it's it's a significant difference. However, and the uh, slim is empty. However, I will tell you. Let me show you something. The slim, <clears throat> and that's a bicolor slim, by the way. It's gray and pink. I'm going to put my Louis back. I'm going to show you that even with the slim, okay, goes in there with no problem, just like my A6 did, okay? It's in there. And look at that. I still have plenty of room over there. Now, the Louis Vuitton is kind of hard to see inside, so I'm just going to, hopefully this doesn't fall. There we go. All right, let me move my papers out. All right. As you can see, I have plenty of room on that side over there. <clears throat> I have plenty of room on that side over there. So either way you slice the cake, it is probably um, <clears throat> your preference as to what you want to carry inside of your bag. Okay, look at that. I've got plenty of room. I really don't carry a lot, as you guys can see. I've got my cosmetic bag and <laughs> I usually have lotion. Um, that would be off to the side here and some papers that are stuck in the um, pockets back here, a mirror, and my planner. Okay, let's take this out. <clears throat> the Slim is sold, like I said, but I want to show you a little bit about the Slim. 
and I'm glad I made that comparison. Now, as I do that, let me tell you what I did too. <coughs> I also got a B6 <laughs> in the, I got a B6 um, VDS. I know that I'm diverting and I know you guys are gonna be like, seriously, stay focused. Um, this is going to be from my planning the move. So everything that's related to the move is in here. Um, am I double dipping? Sometimes, okay? Um, but I like having this um, for the move. And really what it is, is I saw a Croco Parm. Croco, sorry, and Boys de Rose um, Codex. Or not, co yes, Codex from um, Vanderspeck. And I just absolutely had to have it, okay? So that's, that's what's going on there. I wanted to show you the B6 size of the Muji. <coughs> Excuse me, this is also Muji. And this thing is wonderful. I like Muji a lot, okay? So um, this is my first time trying anything like this, and I just wanted to share that with you guys, okay? So you can get them from Amazon. The paper is pretty nice. It doesn't bleed through, but then again, I don't do a lot of, a lot of doodling or whatever. All right, the Slim. This is gray, of course, with your contrast pink stitching. If you get inside, absolutely dropped it drop dead gorgeous same layout as my a6 with your pen loop your zipper for your coins your slip pocket to put your um your uh, weeks in and the slip pocket over here for the weeks your little back pocket for you know maybe you even put your driver's license over there i'm not sure um the certificate of authenticity and then at the top one two three four five six credit card slots plus one at the bottom so you get a little bit more credit card slots than you do with um the a6 and then here your area for cash just like you had with the a6 the big giant back pocket <clears throat> love how when you do like this this is gray and this is pink i just think it's so beautiful of course your page dividers are um are here and you can even add stuff to them i've seen some people because they don't like them kind of just tuck them in there along with their weeks and it kind of keeps in there if you want to um but that's it i um <clears throat> i'm very impressed it is simple but what i need and functional um all in one so i i find that you know through Gilio to be awesome they're very big on great quality leather but also functionality um is taken into consideration so i really like that <coughs> okay you guys i'm not going to make this longer than it has to be i will come back when i get my vanderspeck um to show you my b6 planner um notebook but for the sake of this video I want to show you that I've reached a little bit of planner piece, I think, and I hope, with my A6 Gilio Apunto that I am using as a wallet and a planner at the same time. Um, I hope that this uh, continues to serve my purpose, and I would encourage you to try one out, okay? Please like and subscribe. Have a great Sunday.